Boxer Jill Emery went pro three years ago. As an amateur, she was a three-time U.S. and four-time Golden Glove champion. I had just won the um, USA Boxing Athlete of the Year. I'd won like three national tournaments that year. I was ranked number one in the amateurs, and it was a really good time to get out of the amateurs and go pro. Her coach of almost 10 years, Michael Kozlowski, talks about her with pride. When we start to work together, she won her first national, USA, and after this, she has uh, like three years in a row, no one lost. Point. I think she has uh, uh, maybe more medals than, uh, than every man together in this gym. Emery spars with men while training. Although there is no difference between male and female boxing when it comes to technique, there is a difference when it comes to the purse. Very few female boxers make a living as a female boxer. There are a couple out there. Men at Emory's level make at least twice as much per round. Factors such as TV rights and how many seats are filled go into how much a fighter gets paid. Emory's highest purse was $6,000. A similar fight can get a man's punches $15,000. Successful male boxers can boost their income with endorsement deals. Emory works two jobs. One, as a personal trainer. Personal training definitely helps out with my boxing because it does help me make some money it uh, keeps me in the gym, and also I can use my knowledge to help other people. Her coach says that women are more gutsy and have a better work ethic than men. The Olympics does not include female boxing. So, as the 2008 games approach, Kozlowski says he must turn his attention to the men. Oh, boxing now make a real career for his coach than uh, if you coach an only woman. So you say that if you were only coaching women, you wouldn't be able to have like a, a coaching yes. career? Yes, definitely, yeah. This is a this is big upset, but it's, it's, it's my opinion, it's big discrimination. Beyond the ropes, Emery does the self-promotion and networking involved in getting her fights together. The 10-year veteran even convinced a promoter to host the first professional women's bout in Ireland. As her career continues, she and her trainer plan to co-manage several up-and-coming women in the sport. Emily Meyer for the New York City News Service.